The future of education is changing. Anyone can learn million dollar skills on the internet at a fraction of the cost of another degree. So why isn't everyone doing it? Well, to answer that, we have to compare online learning with traditional school. And then once we do that, I'll show you a simple system that anyone can use to learn skills online and increase their earning potential. So with online learning, there's no attendance, there's no grades or exams, and there are no gunner students. And that might sound like a dream come true, but it does come with its own set of challenges. Since there's no structure, it's not clear what's useful to learn or in what order or how to do it. And it's completely on you to figure it out. Otherwise, that's your time, effort, and money that goes down the drain. And that's scary, right? It feels risky if it's not attached to a big brand name institution. But to address all those questions and make sure that that doesn't happen to you, let's dive into the first part of the system. So you've probably heard the saying that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, all my friends are clowns. Don't worry because friends and family aren't the only people that you spend time with. If you've watched this channel before, and first of all, thank you from the bottom of my heart, we love you. We might not have personally met, but we do have some sort of relationship, right? It's kind of trippy. You probably know I used to work as a doctor. You might know that I run a learning skills program called StudyQuest. And a lot of people think I look like Noelle Miller. I don't really see it yet. And you know this because of my content, right? Our beliefs, our opinions, and our perspectives, they come from the content that we consume. And that accounts for both physical and digital environment. So step one is to curate an inner circle. Pick a handful of creators and influencers, like four to five of them who you trust, who also have educational content and resources to get you towards your learning goal. The internet is a huge ocean of content. And what we're doing here is making it smaller, right? Live and breathe in that space. Study the content, learn the strategies, and connect with people doing the same things as you. Because unlike in traditional school, where you're told where to go, where you're told what classes to take, we have to become self-reliant. And that means curating an environment that's conducive for us to learn. But just because we're curating a circle of content doesn't mean that we're actually gonna learn. Because at the end of the day, you know, YouTube, Instagram, and X and stuff, it's just social media. So in step number two, we have to add in more structure. When we were at 200,000 subscribers on YouTube, we hit a wall. We weren't sure what to do with our audience. We didn't know how to monetize or build a product. And so we decided to invest $15,000 into a coaching program. I was pretty hesitant. You know, at the time, I had never spent that much money on anything outside of tuition or rent for the whole year. It never really occurred to me to invest in my knowledge. But after working with them, my belief about online learning changed completely. In less than a year, we hit a million subscribers on YouTube. We created the first version of our product study quests and our business grew from $3,000 a month to doing $30,000 a month. I have no idea how long it would have taken or if it could have even happened at all if I didn't invest in someone else's guidance to get us there. It was definitely a skill issue that stood between our channel's growth and as a result, the growth of my business. So step number two is to invest in a good skill manual. This can be an online course, a coaching program like we did, it can be a mastermind, or if you're a little bit strapped for cash, it can be something simpler like a community or a membership or even something as simple as a book. The difference in all these is that some have more handholding. Like if you just bought a book, you're gonna have to do a lot more work on your own to figure out how to apply things than if you join a program where you have one-on-one -on -one weekly coaching calls. Personally, I prefer programs that do have some element of real-time support because of the added accountability, but as I'll discuss in the next step, it's not 100% required. But the most important thing a skill manual provides is a clear step-by-step -step curriculum to take action. Now, one of my favorite places to find banger skill manuals is Skillshare, who also happen to be the kind sponsor of today's video. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts in design, film and video, photography, AI and innovation, music and audio, and all these other high income skills. And with their new learning paths update, I can find bundles of courses to go from A to Z to learn an entire skill. It combines step one and two, curating different skill manuals into one one easy step. I am currently taking this become a more efficient content creator with ChatGPT course because like everybody in the entrepreneur space right now, I'm going hard on the AI bandwagon to improve productivity, make more content so I can remove myself from my own business. And what I really love is that they have thousands of other courses just like this one with very defined skill levels. So no matter where you are, you can find something that's perfect for you. You can learn from your favorite creators like this handsome punk here, and you can get as specific as learning how to build a life dashboard for personal 
personal productivity using Notion or how to record and process audio to start your creator business. And to make the most out of summer and kickstart your learning and earning journey, the first 500 people to sign up using the link in the description below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. In traditional school, we always get a syllabus with learning objectives. We know how many units we need to graduate and what the requirements are. Sure, you can rely on free content, but why not learn directly from someone whose sole job is to help people like you get the skills to learn and earn more. If you think about it that way, it's riskier actually not to invest because the chances of success are gonna be that much lower. Nowadays, most online courses are self-paced, but this is both a blessing and a curse. Just because you have a course doesn't mean your problems are gone, which is why we also have to nail step three of the system. So our brain actually has two pathways for learning. There's declarative learning, which is like the what, like facts, definitions, and concepts. And then there's procedural learning, which is the when and the how. And procedural knowledge only comes comes from experience of doing things. You can think of it like being book smart versus street smart. Science shows us that procedural learning requires more effort and takes longer to develop than declarative learning. But procedural learning is the glue that ties everything together. You can read hundreds of books on writing, you can watch every online writing course, every free writing YouTube video, but until you write your first piece of content and put it out into the world, you haven't truly learned anything. Step three is to practice using your skills in the same way that you plan to use them. A simple rule to follow, which we teach in study quests, is the one to three rule. For every one hour of declarative learning, shoot for three hours of implementation and practice. And depending on how complex the skill is, it might even need to be five or 10 hours. So when we were building the first version of study quest, we carefully went through Alex Hermosi's $100 million offers training, which for anyone starting a business is ridiculously good. After each lesson, we stopped and immediately implemented what we learned. And that has what allowed us to get our product up and running in a matter of days versus weeks. One of the biggest mistakes that people make is binging through course content without taking any action. Content and courses introduce ideas, but practice solidifies them. So with these three steps ready, you're gonna make huge gains. But it's adding this final step that multiplies our progress and sets us up to earn more with our newfound skills. You might've heard the saying that practice makes perfect. But unfortunately, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Let's say you're carefully going through a writing course using the one to three rule and you get loads and loads of practice with writing. You're starting to feel more confident now, your head's held higher, and at long last, you proudly add to your LinkedIn profile, I'm a copywriter. But weeks go by and it's crickets. Do you see the problem here? If I was searching for a copywriter and I came across this profile, I would 100% ignore it. And the reason is because there's no proof of work. The truth is being good at a skill doesn't mean you can earn more with it. You have to be perceived as good by other people since they're the ones who are gonna pay you for it. So step four is to build a public portfolio of projects. You need to get real feedback from real people because without feedback, it's impossible to know if we've actually learned the skill. But building projects forces us to work towards a goal. Right? Learning without a project is what I call a hobby. Hobbies are fun and all, don't get me wrong, but you can't expect them to add to your earning potential. To make step four more tactical, let's define what counts as a project. Project must have a deadline. This creates a time frame to get feedback, and it also must have a deliverable something that demonstrates our current scalability. Right in traditional school, exams are projects. We know the deadline and the grade we get is the deliverable. All we're doing is recreating those same stakes. Examples of projects can be creating contents, competing, or documenting challenges. So if you're learning online, you have to build a project. You have to showcase those projects publicly, either on social media or a blog or a website. Think of it like a public resume. You're selling yourself through the projects that you've done. If you follow the system to pick up skills, well, my friend, you are well on your way to learning and earning more. In the digital age, information is everywhere. And I hope that you'll start to look at it as a tool, right? As a gift. We can pretty much learn anything we want to nowadays, as long as we follow this system. And that is a powerful position to be in. Now, once you've decided on the high income skill you want to build, the next step is to build a habit of consistency, to stick with it long time and see progress. That's why I created a deep work protocol. And if you're interested, then definitely check it out right here in this video.